Welcome to Yoni Egg 101. I am happy to have all you beautiful ladies here with me today. I am just clearing space, burning a little incense, getting us prepared for this wonderful presentation on how to use Yoni Egg. You do what with what? You put it where? All those questions that you may have um, in regards to it. My name is Asha, and I'm a holistic wellness practitioner and an official Yoni advocate. Um, part of this is wanting to educate ladies on reconnecting with their bodies, understanding that their womb, their Yoni, is the birth canal for life. And the more we take pride in it, ownership in it, the more that we will be able to change our community, change our families, just change the world in general, being that's where we all come from. So tonight, hopefully, I'll be able to answer um, any questions you may have in regards to the use of the young egg and um, start the journey of self-love, one egg at a time. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, first things first, what are yoni eggs? Everybody has it. Uh, how do you use it? So first off, in explaining what a yoni egg is, you may have heard the terminology in the past of the jade egg. And basically, the jade egg is just a type of gemstone that was used um, as a yoni egg. And the egg shape is, for some, may symbol birth, um, new beginnings. But, but the yoni, the word yoni means um, vagina in Sanskrit. So that's how the terminology of yoni eggs came about um, in regards of how to use. And it really started out um, in the Japanese or the Asian culture. Um, a lot of the concubine uh, that was on the, or the royal court, they used it to help enhance um, their health, their yoni health as well. And from there, it's become known more popular in other cultures as a way to increase health and longevity, um, sexual wellness in regards to that. So that's how the title came about, Yoni. And the word egg was just the shape of the egg, shape of the stone, the gemstone that is used um, for the Yoni egg. And so that's where we began with the whole origin of the Yoni egg. So moving on from there, what are the benefits of the yoni egg? Why do we want to put something inside our yoni? What, how is this going to benefit us? And I know many people start off and be like, well, I don't understand why I'm putting this inside of me. But it's all good. All the questions are here. I'm going to answer that. First off, the benefits of the yoni egg. There are many of them. Um, I have a few listed here, as you can see. One, it is wonderful for women that have just had children. It helps to rebuild the muscles from what has occurred during childbirth. Um, so it helps enhance the elasticity of the muscles um, and increase the sensitivity of the pelvic floor from where you've had a childbirth. It is also great for preventing um, any type of urinary incontinence. This is something that tends to occur within the elderly or as you get older, you cough, you laugh, or even trying to rush to the bathroom, you're not able to hold your urine. So by inserting the yoni egg, you're helping to um, build up the muscles in that area to keep uh, this from happening as you get older. Um, the next thing is enhanced sexual pleasure. Yes, it does enhance sexual pleasure. One reason is you're stimulating the nerve endings that are in the area of the vagina. Um, increasing the sensitivity of the vagina by having the yoni egg in. And then, of course, because you have something inserted, it definitely increases the wetness. So I recommend anybody, uh, especially for those that like to go commando and not wearing underwear, be very aware you're going to be extra juicy during the time that you are wearing the yoni egg, which is even more why the egg is beneficial for those that have a problem with um, getting wet particularly those that might have had hysterectomies and you have some hormonal imbalances due to that and have a problem with lubrication, the yoni egg can definitely assist um, in that area. It's been known to help those dealing with menstrual cramps. And another key thing is 
it intensifies the orgasms. Once again, you're stimulating the nerve endings in that area, so therefore it's only going to increase, and also as well as circulation. So part of orgasms come from stimulation and circulation as well, so it does help intensify. You are able to wear yoni eggs during sexual activity as well. Um, I also say it really is not just comfort on the female aspect of things unless you may have some internal issues such as fibroids or cysts or things that may cause discomfort. Um, in general, many men enjoy having intercourse with the egg in, unless they are very, very well endowed and I have had some um, complain because they felt the tip of the penis hitting the um, egg caused soreness. So it really depends on your partner in regards to that. So as well, um, the next benefit is stronger vaginal muscles. That's definitely a must as we get older um, assisting with that. That also helps intensify any type of sexual activity by having stronger muscles because the stronger the muscles, the stronger the grip, which enhances the um, pleasure for the uh, male as well. Then there are very um, different metaphysical uh, properties of each gemstone and crystal that you use that have benefits as well. So when we talk more into the different stones and understanding what stone is best for you and your use and knowing what the properties of these stones can also enhance any healing that may take place as well. So there are many different types of yoni eggs and sizes. Uh, one thing I want to address, there is a difference between a drilled yoni egg and a non-drilled yoni egg. I'm not sure if you can see in the camera. You see the hole there? Uh, let's get it over. There's a hole there on that side, and there's a hole on this side. And then others that are regular, there are no holes. The difference between the two, for those that are paranoid that your egg is going to get lost, and let me explain, it is impossible for a yoni egg to get stuck. Understand the cervix is nowhere that it can go to, so the yoni egg cannot get stuck. So within that, starting out, there are different sizes of yoni eggs. You have, this is more like a large size yoni egg, then you have medium-sized yoni eggs, and then you even have smaller size. And some can even get smaller than this. These are different examples of eggs that I have. So the large egg is great for beginners, especially if you recently had uh, a child. Um, it's very beneficial. Uh, the medium egg is where the majority start at. And it's kind of like the all-purpose egg. Now, many think that it's easier to start with a smaller egg, and it's quite the opposite. It takes a lot more muscle control to hold in a smaller egg than it does for a larger egg. So medium to large is the best size to start out. And the best way to determine what size egg to use, if you can insert two fingers into your vagina with ease, then it's okay to use a medium or large size egg. But if it's hard for you to actually insert that, then that means you have very, very tight muscles, and then therefore you probably can start with a small egg. And then once you've mastered the larger size egg, then you can drop down to a smaller size egg. And then eventually even have two eggs in, yes, two eggs in at the same time. You may have a medium egg and a small egg. And sometimes that's where the benefits of having a string or the drill eggs with the string to act as a weight in some aspect or to be able to get the eggs out in that manner. So those are the different options you have with the different size of the yoni eggs and starting your journey. And you just have to decide what is best um, for you. But particularly if you've had some kids, um, I would definitely say the medium or large and many don't get discouraged if you put the egg in and it falls out. It's basically muscle training. As anything else you may use, it would take time for the muscles to build up strength to be able to keep the egg in. So just be aware, I always say that because many get discouraged and say, I can't do anything without the egg falling out. And then from there, you just may want to use the egg in the evenings or make sure you stay around the house so you don't have any eggs, lay any eggs in the public.
that has happened to me before. So, the different types of yoni stones. Like I said, different stones have different healing properties. Um, the picture that I have up here um, are four different types of stones or my favorite stones that I like to keep in stock because a lot of my eggs I like to cater towards some type of self-love and healing and moving past any blocked emotions, trauma, or abuse um, that we often hold on to that keep us from in being in love with ourselves and being able to love others. So the amethyst stone you, um, is a beautiful stone and I'm just going to go over these four stones as examples of the different physical properties. So I encourage you whether it's from me or anybody else, do your research on the type of stones that they have and the metaphysical properties for them. So picking an egg out is a very personal experience and you just don't want to put any egg in not understanding what the healing properties of that egg is so that you can be prepared for what emotions or what things may begin to clear or come to surface based upon the egg that you're using. So the amethyst egg is a great egg um, for healing any type of physical ailments, emotional issues, energy, chakra balancing is also great for um, enhancing any psychic abilities, your intuition, and many like to use this stone to meditate with. There's the clear quartz, um, that is this stone here. To me, this is the master healer egg. If there's no other stone that you may have, a clear quartz is a great stone to have in your possession. The clear quartz amplifies energy. It clears any type of negative energy. It's a protection stone and also a manifesting stone. So if certain things you're wanting to bring forth, whether it's a job, a new relationship, money, however it may be, this is a great stone to use in order to uh, focus on manifesting. Uh, like I said, also if you're in a state that you're frustrated or maybe you just broke up or have a lot of people around you with a lot of negativity, this is a great stone to use to clear any negativity that's in your space. The other stone that you see, the spotted stone, that's a rhodonite stone. And this stone is great for dealing with any type of anxiety. It helps work the heart chakra to allow forgiveness and it releases anger or any type of blocked energy that you may have in that area. It is also beneficial in helping, helping uh, acceptance and dealing with trauma and any type of abuse. The rhodonite stone is also great for fertility too if you are wanting to have kids and have not been successful in having kids. So as you see, these are just examples or certain stones, and so that's why I say the whole aspect of picking out a yoni stone is a personal one because you really want to pick out a stone that is going to address the needs that you have. And from there, I also say that's why yoni eggs can be very egg addictive because different stones have different personalities and different responses um, in how you use them and what the benefits of them may be as well. So what do you do before you use a yoni egg? That is very key. Most importantly, bond with your yoni egg. This is something that is going to go inside your yoni egg. So you need to bond your energy with it. Now, I also have to say some people are still cautious on whether they want to um, put it, this egg inside them. You can put an egg mini, put the egg inside their bra. You can put it in your pocketbook, your pocket, and keep it close to you. Um, you can still receive the same benefits as well as um, just inserting it inside. So maybe those times a month that you don't want to put the yoni egg in, you may still want to have your egg in your possession. So the most important thing first, I would say, is to bond with your egg. Um, this here is Chrissy. I named my egg. Um, we have a personal relationship. So I spend a lot of time with this egg just holding it in my hand, getting a feel of it. I put my egg up under my pillow. I sleep with it. Um, any type of way that you can. I even put them in the bathtub with me at, at times because water um, charges energy as well. So having it in the tub, um, when I practice yoga, I may have my egg at the top of my mat charging up due to the energy that is occurring during a yoga session as well. So taking time, spending time with your egg, and then you want to I really identify what are your intentions for using this egg. You know, if you picked out this clear point, what was it that drew you to this egg? And if it's about manifesting, 
you really want to establish what is it when you get ready to use the egg, what am I going to use this egg for? Is it because I need clarity, my mind is everywhere, and I need to get more focused so I know what it is that I want in life? Or is it I want to clear any type of negativity that has come my way so I can step into my higher good? So whatever it may be is your choice and your personal choice. Set your intentions, and this is what you're going to program into the egg so that when you use it, you're going to benefit from the intentions that you have set. And then you want to charge and activate your egg as well as clean your egg, and which I'm going to go into with the next slide. So how do you charge and activate your Yoni Stone? It's two different ways that you can charge and activate it. You can um, activate it in the sunlight. The sunlight has light radiation, and each crystal has a matrix inside of it that can be activated by the sunlight, basically enhancing whatever the purpose of that egg is at that time. Sunlight um, also restores any type of depleted energy. So it's good sometimes after you use your egg to um, place it in the sunlight to help reactivate it due to whatever your intentions were when you put the egg in. And you will, may want to charge a stone for about eight hours in the sun to restore its, its energy. Can't really say it's a specific time frame, but about eight hours, hours is a good amount of time to absorb um, the sun at its peak and um, make sure it's getting all the good old light radiation. Then you have moon activations. You can uh, place your stone in the moonlight. Uh, moonlight energy is great for cleansing and releasing stored energy as well. And depending on the cycle of the moon and your intentions, it depends on which moon that you put an egg out in. Like the new moon is a great time to bring forth new ideas. If you're starting a new project, you're trying to manifest something, um, the new moon is a great time to charge your egg. Then at the full moon, that is a great time for releasing and purging. So understanding the different cycle of the moon when you place your egg out will have different effects on how it's activated or charged at that time as well. Cleaning and clearing your yoni egg. This is very important as well. First of all, in cleaning your yoni egg, the physical aspect of yoni, because we have the physical cleaning and then there's the spiritual cleaning of a yoni egg. First off, do not use soap to clean your yoni egg. You can just use hot water, but for those that are very cautious, um, if you have to use something to clean your yoni egg, then use Castile soap. Dr. Bonner's um, Castile soap is very great um, to use. Uh, otherwise, just boil the water. Um, and after you boil the water, after you bring it to um, its max and it's boiling, let the water sit for about five minutes to cool off. Then you place your egg in the water for about 10 or 15 minutes, and therefore any type of germs or anything that's on it um, will be cleansed by the hot water at that time. Make sure before you use the egg that you cool it off before you insert it. You, your yoni is very sensitive, so do not take an egg straight out of hot water and insert it in your yoni because you do not want to get any type of burns or blisters that this doesn't sound pleasant in that area. So make sure the egg is cooled off before you use it. So <clears throat> that's the basic on how you clean the egg. Um, you can clean the egg after every use um, to ensure that it's clean for sanitary reasons. Uh, and particularly if you drop it or anything like that, please make sure you clean the egg again before you use it. So another way that you can clear um, your egg is to use sage um, or incense to smudge your egg. Right now I'm burning some Palo Santos, which is just as powerful as using sage. And you can just light it and just hold the egg over the smoke. And doing this, saging it, is going to clear any type of energy. Even when I purchase my eggs before I sell them to you guys, I take this and smudge all my eggs. Only because I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know who has handled the eggs. I don't know who has touched the eggs. And I don't know what their energy is like. So before I even sell any eggs to anyone, I smudge them all. I cleanse them spiritually. And I charge them up with um, Reiki and put them out. 
in the sun and moonlight to clear them and charge them as, as well before um, I sell them. So for your own personal use, same thing applies to you. You save your incense to smudge your egg as well to clear off anything because once you use it to clear negativity like that, you want to release that before you use the egg again. The next thing is how to insert the yoni stones. It's two different ways. I've had people say, oh, my egg won't stay in. It keeps falling out. And it could depend on the way that you are inserting the egg. If you are standing and inserting the egg, as you see in the picture here, you just take the egg, you use the wide end of the yoni stone first and just insert it in as if you were insert a tampon in. Now, doing it this way, you're getting inside the, the yoni canal but it may stay at the bottom of the canal, so therefore it may be more prone or easier to fall out due to it this way. So it may be even better to go into a squatting position um, to use and then insert the egg in that way. Option two, excuse me, option two is to lay back on the bed and insert the wide end of the yoni stone in with your fingers laying on your back. And that way it's easier to move up the canal and stay in there. And you just insert it in, take a deep breath, and clench, clench tight those um, yoni muscles, and then relax and just let the stone be at that point in time. Um, and I'll, answer, I'll go over a few questions that you may have in regards to how long you keep the stone in or what do you do if it falls out towards um, the end here. Yoni egg exercise is very key because understand part of the use of using the yoni egg as well is helping to um, strengthen the muscles in that area. So there are different type of yoni egg exercises you can do and I will be doing a, another video very soon and going over different type of Kegel exercises and different type of exercises and even some yoga moves that you can use to help enhance the muscles in that area. But as you look in the um, slide here, it's different. And once you learn to manipulate the, the muscles, and it's three different sets of muscles in your, in your yoni to help move the egg inside the yoni canal. So moving the egg up and down by squeezing the muscles is very key. And you're just moving the egg up and down the, the uh, vagina canal. Then you can get to the point if you have two eggs in of actually squeezing the two eggs together and squeezing the two eggs apart. So first off, if you're starting to use the yoni egg for the first time, just get used to it being on inside and just doing Kegel muscles. Basically um, pulling in the uh, anus muscles, the Kegel muscles tightening up and just squeezing. You can do maybe like three to four sets of ten squeezes. And it's kind of like lifting weights at that point in time. And you can do this throughout the day. Even if you don't have a yoni egg in, you still can do your Kegel exercises or even certain things as when you're going to use the bathroom, um, cut your urine stream off at midway during, during using the bathroom and then release again. Cut it off, release again. And that's a good way also to help strengthen the muscles. So questions and answers. Um, I'm just going to go over different questions that many people may have. Uh, one question I want to go many people ask, will my egg get stuck or what do I do if my egg gets stuck? Your egg would eventually come out. It's not going to go anywhere. It won't hide up in there for the rest of your life or anything like that. But if you get to the point you're panicking because your egg won't come out, first you have to realize what the intentions were that you set when you put the egg in. Your egg will come out when it's done what it's supposed to do. So different people. It may be in there for three days, five days, ten days, however long it's not stuck. And if you start getting worried, a lot of times the anxiety that you're having that is stuck is causing the muscles in the vagina canal to contract tighter, which is not going to allow the egg to um, come out. So if it ever gets to the point you're ready for it to come out, you can go into the squatting position and just push like you're using the bathroom, um, like you're going to do a bowel movement. And that should help push the um, yoni egg down the canal so it can um, come out at that point in time. Um, another question, should you wear the yoni egg during your menstrual cycle? I do not recommend that. You have a cycle for a reason. It's cleansing. 
So you do not want to have an object up in there that may block the cleansing of the canal and could cause infections or anything like that from the blood not being able to be released. Everybody's different. I just recommend that you don't use the yoni egg during your um, time of the month for personal hygiene reasons as well. Um, another question that people, let me see, may ask in situations like this, yes, you can use it during sexual intercourse. That is no problem. And, and a lot of times when your egg during sexual intercourse, it may get stuck up in there, tighter up towards the top. Um, it eventually will come out. Don't try to force it out. And like I said, if so, just go into the squat position and allow it to fall. Another thing, what do you do if your yoni egg falls out in the toilet? It is up to you. I have a thing, and I have had situations where I've gone to use the bathroom, and I forgot I've had my yoni egg in, and it pops out while I'm using the bathroom. Now, if you have skills, you may realize that the egg is about to come out, and you can catch it um, while you're using the bathroom, and then you can rinse it off with hot water and put it back in. If it happens to fall out and fall into the toilet, then you're going to have to use your own discretion if you want to use that egg again. If it falls out in a public restroom, more than likely that egg is going to stay in that toilet. Um, I don't really feel comfortable in going to a public restroom and sticking my hand down in the toilet. Has it happened at home in my own toilet? Yes, and I have gone in my toilet and gotten my yoni egg out, and I would just go and boil some water and clean it off and prepare it to be used again. So that is your choice if that is your curve. Another thing to be aware of, if your egg cracks, if you, you know, it's different, a little chip may not be an issue unless it can cut or if you rub it against your skin and it scratches you, then you don't want to put it on the inside of you. Or if you have a deep cut in your egg, then you may not want to use it again because it's kind of hard to clean the egg if there is a deep cut. Uh, a deep cut or indention inside your egg for sanitary reasons, you're not able to get to it and, and clean it. So I wouldn't say throw your egg away just because um, you're not a, able to wear it internally. You still can use it for meditation purposes. You can still put it in your bra, carry it on your possession, or anything like that, if so. Let's see. <clears throat> Other than that, I think those are a lot of the general questions that people may have when it comes to the use of the yoni egg. Um, if you have any other questions, you know, please reach out to me. And even in the process of starting your journey, and a lot of this information may be totally overwhelming to you, you don't know where to start, what egg do you need, what egg do you want to use, then you can contact me for a consultation, and I'll be more than happy to, you know, find out where you are, what your needs are, you know, if there's certain health issues that you're wanting to address and wanting to heal, there's certain eggs I can recommend if you're in the process maybe of just wanting to heal yourself, more self-love, then there are eggs I can recommend. So depending on your um, needs and sometimes having that one-on-one -on -one consultation, I at least can have a better understanding if there's any medical needs or issues that you're experiencing that we need to know with the eggs and as well understand having a personal relationship with who you have your yoni eggs is very key to help educate you as well because there are certain yoni eggs that you do not want to put inside of you um, due to they may have copper or mercury in them that can be very harmful to you or certain eggs that um, like selenite it dissolves if it's wet so you do not want little pieces or particles of the egg inside the vagina. So yes, there are certain eggs that you do not want to insert inside that you need to be very wise and careful of, that even though it may be very beautiful and pretty, that may be an egg that you may just want to keep on your altar or keep on your possession or use to meditate with instead of using it internally. So please look for me, um, email me, contact me. If you have any questions, you can go to my website at www.ashaktiwellness, A-S-H-A-K-T-I wellness.com, or you can email me at ashaktiwellness at gmail, or give me a call, 980-202-1183, if you wish to find out more information or schedule a consultation. 
I'll be more than happy. Look coming up on my website um, for the Lotus Spot. It is going to be a subscription website um, for you to come to, and it's a nice community uh, for you to come and get more information. There will be free monthly webinars, um, training um, that you can obtain, a library of all previous trainings or webinars. You get 20% discount on Yoni Egg, 15% discount on any type of classes or workshops. There will be a private discussion forum where I may have guest professionals on the forum board that you can come in and ask different questions on different topics that pertain to the subject that they're speaking on. Or if you just have different questions and you want feedback from the group on different ways to improve your intimacy, how to um, anticipate orgasm, and so many different questions, but this will be your platform, your network to come and ask questions and educate others as well as yourself on different ways of sexual health and wellness as well. There will be a blog with different articles and information, but overall it's just a nice community site and will only be for $11.11. So please go to my website now. Um, I will be launching this very soon, but in the meantime you can submit your information so as soon as we launch you will be informed and ready. So in the meantime, I thank you very much for listening in on this webinar. Hopefully this has been very helpful and informative for you in deciding to make your journey to self-love one egg at a time. Blessings to you. Namaste. And I look forward to helping you with your egg journey. Bye-bye.